this game with volume, but if I did, I know the, the music's good. I guess that's cool. I can appreciate that. It's something to listen to. Mm, FF challenge. Front engine, front wheel drive. Okay, I don't think that's gonna cut it. Okay, so we need a front engine, front wheel drive, 550 or less. I like that you can search cars. That is so cool. Um, 550. Oh, gonna hit X. Drive train, FF. Naturally aspirate, whoa. Electric vehicle. <laughs> There's only 14. Oh, okay. Just realize. How do I sit? No upper limit. Okay. What? Are you serious? Oh, are you? Why do I need to set that? Price max. Oh. <laughs> okay, I can buy pretty much all the cars. <laughs> okay, let's go with. Let's bring it under a hundred thousand. Hundred thousand. Wow, that only drops it that much. Seventy thousand. Fifty thousand. Forty thousand. Thirty thousand. Come on! Oh my God. Okay, let's see what we got here. We got a butt ton of cars. It was 550 or less? Yeah. Uh, okay, you know what? Let's go with, let's bring her up to 200 grand with a lower limit minimum of 1980. 1985 90 <laughs> come on <laughs> oh uh, that's so dumb why can't you search okay it's like 90 something is the lower limit okay so we get 550 oh my god these cars are expensive as hell man you know what I'm just gonna search for my own fucking Let's let's search. What do we have? Let's go. Let's try and let's let's check out a Mazda. See what we got from Mazda geese. Wonder if they have the Mazda 626. That's the car I drive right now. It's pretty greasy. <laughs> a 97 Mazda 626. That's the car I'm looking for. I don't think they have it. Whoa, look at this! Kusabi. Kusabi! Okay, so we need front engine, front wheel drive. Four wheel drive. There's a new one. That's a rally car, though. FF. That's what I'm looking for. Wow, they're all front engine, rear wheel. Okay. Kind of wish. Whoa, no, I don't want that. Um Let's check out let's check out Ferrari and see what we got. Front engine. Mid engine. Yeah, it doesn't look like we're gonna find any FFs in here. It seems like Bugatti, yeah. It's two million credits, what the hell? Uh Jaguar. What about Lambo Lamborghini? They're all mid-engine. And then you got four-wheel drives. Dang. Doesn't seem like I'm gonna find a really a European car with FF. There's a Renault. 440. See, but the thing is, it's 550 or less, which kind of goose up anything I had going for me. It looks like maybe front engine. It looks like maybe American cars are gonna be where we're gonna find those front engine, front wheel drive. 
Whoa, Chevy really likes front engine rear wheel, it looks like. Front engine, front, front, front. Come, ooh, look at that. Yeah, they're front rear. How about Ford? Oh, we got some FFs here. Ah, damn it, but none of their higher class cars. Ah, oh, that sucks. Damn it, it's hard to find. It's hard to find anything. Uh, Acura. Acura's American? Really? I did not know that. Front, front, that's only 419. It's almost like my. Oh, yeah, never mind. I was gonna say my 498 is all I can do. <laughs> but I can't even use that. Dodge, maybe? Front, front. Damn it! Grand Touring Garage. I'm just. I'm really just reaching here. Plymouth. Wow, look at that! Oh, yeah, I got a rocket car the other day. For doing, I forget what I was doing, but I got a rocket car, so I guess that's cool. <laughs> SRT maybe? No, front rears, all front rears. Ram, four wheel drive, obviously. Panels. Pontiac, something. Oh, FFs. Ugh. Okay, I think I think we need to go back to the search. Um, 550, and let's go, let's limit the base to, let's go 490. Whoa! Let's make the upper limit, whatever. Is it really? Oh, unknown years, okay. Is there really not a single car? <laughs> really? Wow, okay. 117,000, 75,000. Let's check this out. It has no info on it. 295 horsepower. Ooh. I wish, is there a way to like test drive it? None of these really have anything. Producing 200. It ceased production in 2006. This thing looks cool. I'm gonna go check out. I'm I'm really sorry. This is probably really annoying to watch, but I want to go check out what what my competition is gonna be. Front engine. Front. What is the competition? Renault Sport Clio. Honda Integra Type R DC5. Let's let's check that thing out. Honda Honda Integra, really? That's a thing. Uh, Asia. Honda Integra. Integra. Do, 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 do. Um, Integra Type R DC5 is the. Yeah, right here. 2004. Wow, that thing is. That thing's actually not that good. <laughs> okay. Let's check out the Hondas. Looks like we got some something to choose from here. A Cord Coupe. Dude, I. 
I owned one of these cars. I own this exact car. At some point in my life, I have owned this car. Dude, dude, I owned one of these. I mean, well, not a coupe, but I did own a Honda Accord 2003. It's 45 grand, man. Yeah, Honda NSX, man, those things are sweet. Okay, let's find something for under 100. You know, this this car almost seems like the best to go with. Is there anything under me? 750,000. Holy turd snacks. We're gonna be earning about 10k each race, so we're gonna wanna try and. Mugen Mobile. Oh, look at that thing. What did that uh, Integra have? Integra Type R 216 horsepower. It's only 27,000 too. Hmm. This car's a lot heavier, I'm pretty sure. You know what? We're gonna go with this Mugen Motel. It's got good value. Good value. It's really light. Let's do it. We're buying it. We're doing it live. This thing looks like an old school car. Man, a lot of these old school cars are real boxy. Then you see those cars from like the 20s, 30s that look like freaking rocket cars. Well, they are rocket cars where they're so streamlined and so cool looking. Yeah, you see, there's that Vision car right there. I was looking at that. You can buy it for a million bucks. Let's get my Mugen Motel ripping through. Sports hard or less. Can I just change the tire on it? Oh, come on. Don't tell me I just bought this for nothing. Is there a return policy on these cars? Uh, car settings. I need to change the tires. Sports. Hard. 6,800 bucks. The lowest grip. Maybe you want to go sports medium. 7800 bucks. Oh my god. Dude. Sports hard it is. <laughs> I can deal with that. Man, this car is a money pit. It's a flipping money pit already. Not really, but you know. Okay, let's do this. I'm ready. This car better have been worth it. I'm going to be pissed if I lose. Gonna be a tough race, I know that. Oh my god, someone has that Accord I was gonna buy. <laughs> yeah, I owned a 2003 Honda Accord, except the only problem is I bought it at an auction and it had 300,000 kilometers on it. Now I thought, you know, oh, it's a Honda. Everybody always says that. Oh, it's a Honda, it's gonna be so good. No, nope, transmission was shot to heck. Oh my god, it's even got the gross old school lights on it too. The tail lights there. Yeah, 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 turn! Oh man, this is gonna be a tough one to come back in. I think I can do it though. 
Does this one? Ah, this is another one of those cars that doesn't have modeled inside. Is there a way to tell? I mean, I remember before you used to, uh, it used to just say premium vehicle or standard vehicle. But I recall correctly, which I usually do. And I remember the prize for actually beating the game was the Bugatti. I remember getting that and being pretty damn excited. I used that for a couple of races. Pretty good car, except it's another one of those bus handlers. It's such a long and powerful car, like you are not going to do well in the corners. And it's four-wheel drive, so... Kind of goofs it up. This thing is actually not bad, although it's handling this... Pretty stiff. I mean, it turns pretty badly. Yeah, but right now I'm rocking a 97 as the 626 Gold Edition. Call it Scab because the paint is peeling off and it's rusty. That's its name, Scabs. Don't know if it's a he or she. It can be whatever you like. Come on, come on. It always feels like I'm gonna lose the race at the start and then all of a sudden I pull away my huge immortal Honda Civic. And you know what I just realized? You can actually downgrade your cars to fit the PP of a race. I was thinking I should just do that for the Mercedes. I have a really insanely fast Mercedes that I got from the Vision GT thing. Man, it's it's pretty fast. I think it's a 598 PP. So it's not bad at all. Definitely gonna use it for some of the higher races. It looks like a bullet, so you'd hope it'd be good in some of those races. But I never realized you can actually change, you can can uh, lower the power on your car so that it's like a say it's a 598 you can lower it to 550 pp it's actually kind of cool but I don't, I don't think I want to do that I think I want to buy new cars the whole point of this game is to look at all these new cars like this sweet Mugen Motel Honda Civic a 1987 classic Great year, great year. I don't know what came out in 87, other than this Honda Civic, obviously. Oh, no. Why do they put retry there? Why don't you put exit there and retry to the far right? Look at that, I'm a game designer. Oh my god, I'm a UI designer. That's what I am. Okay, Deep Forest. Beautiful. Okay. Let's start her up. How many laps? I didn't even check. Hey, hey! My video finally uploaded. I was having trouble processing. I have like a hundred videos ready to upload. They're all scheduled. I've learned how to use the schedule function, people. And it's such- it's a godsend. If it works, hopefully it works. The only thing is, I don't know if it publishes two sub boxes, or if it just publishes and it's like, hey, go to their channel and check it out. I'm trying to schedule videos because I've had problems where it, it's tough to keep up because the internet at my, my mom's house is not good. It's not all good. So it'll take like 900 minutes to upload a single video, whereas here, my dad's house, my father's house, it'll take. 20, 30 minutes to upload that same video.
And it's funny because the wireless is the exact same as the wired, which is very odd. I always thought wired internet was much better, <laughs> but whatever. It transfers over Wi-Fi just as well somehow. I'm sure one of you techies can answer that. Why? For some reason my Wi-Fi has the exact same speed as if I were wired. Oh, hey, is that a cord? See you later. I got crappier cars in this race. Darren McFadden, for some reason, is in this race. Did they just look? Did they just look at like American football players' names and stuff for these? I wonder. I wonder how they pick the names for the AI. Is that a thing? Man, just think. It's like someone had that job at some point. Like, we need names. See, we need names for our video game cars and the people who drive. Gran Turismo also has its own series of cars in their games, which I find really cool. That'd, that'd be so cool. That, that's what I'd want to do. Screw these manufacturers, I'll just make my own damn cars. Probably takes a lot of work though, to get it so that it's not overpowered for that exact PP power point level. It must take a lot of work. I was watching the uh, BMW Vision GT thing, and it looked like it actually took a lot of work. They designed those cars specifically for Gran Turismo, which is really cool. Which is probably why it takes such a long time to put out each of them. And I actually heard they're going to be announcing the next Gran Turismo, Gran Turismo 7, I think it'll be? What is this? Yeah, Gran Turismo 7 at the next E3. I assume it's going to be for PS4 only, which is... Probably for the best. I mean, they've pretty much reached the max of PS3. And you can really tell sometimes. I mean, anti-aliasing is really noticeable. And it looks like it has a hard time keeping up the textures as you're moving along. So it'll be nice to get something new. Nice, refreshing graphics. I would love Gran Turismo 4 or Forza came to the PC. Pretty sure I said this last recording, but it's an idea. Okay, next one. Okay, last race, the Twin Ring Multiki! Multiki! Let's go. I will win this race. Brought to you by Dunlop Tires. Oh crap, oh that's a car I've always wanted, the Acura RSX. I've always wanted an Integra as well. Come on, baby. Oh, crap! Crap! Ooh, hit the brakes. Hey, there's an Integra right there. And I hit it. Man, this is a long fucking race. Let's 
Stop, stop, stop. Damn it. Sand. Oh, that guy just stopped the building's business. Come on. Sorry about that. Just watching an interview. Tyler the Creator. Huffington Post. Huff Post. How do you say that? I don't know. I guess that's like the more ghetto version or something. <laughs> I don't know. Just very interested. We in the middle of the race though, so. I had to say no. no. I need to finish this. I'm Batman. We yeah, have one more lap left, and we're winning by a lot. I think this is going to be my last race for the day, I believe. This is the last one. And then we win this competition. I'm going to try and do all the races in National B, National A. And I'm not sure how many more until like the credits roll. I'm going to play until the credits roll, and maybe a few races after. But I think that'll be it. Because I want to try and show off as many cars as I can. But I don't want to be playing this for the rest of my life. Although I could also do it as like maybe a weekly thing where I'll play it once a week for an hour. That's what I was also thinking. Where once it's actually finished, I won't put as much time into it. But I'll still put a little bit. You know, I put, I put a little bit. Just enough. Just enough so it knows it loves me. Or I love it. There was another easy race. Like I, I want some of these to be a little closer. This car wasn't that much better, I don't think. Once again, don't retry. Exit.
Cool. So that race is done. Officially done. We're almost done this whole list. Now we just need a Japanese 90s car and a GT Compact car. So guys, thanks for watching. And next time I will do those two races and then we'll move on to National A. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe, like, do all that crap people do. If you didn't, still do it anyways. You know, whatever. <laughs> thanks for watching. Goodbye.